Do I look like Alyssa Blue Riding Hood? Because that's what I'm going for with this look. Yo, I want to talk to you about another pairing of zodiac signs that I fucking hate. And those are, oh my god, my dog is licking his ball sack right now. When it comes to choosing a Zodiac partner, Libras have to choose well. They are ruled by Venus, and if Taurus is to Venus in the selfish way, Libra is to Venus in the non-selfish way, which is like throwing out their love at everybody in a very logical, fair way. Have you ever heard a Libra say, I've been more than fair, because that's all they think about is being fair. Fuck. Imagine a Libra choosing very, very intently for their perfect mate. And then this fucking Leo walks into the room and everybody wants it. And the Leo may not even be the most attractive thing in the world, but it's fucking charming as shit. And you know what the Libra goes? Libra's like, I fucking want that. A Leo, girl or boy, knows in general that everybody wants it because everybody does. And that is just the Leo way. They have this, oh, beautiful happy, wonderful, sweet relationship where the Libra worships the Leo and the Leo likes it until the Libra doesn't want to worship the Leo anymore. The, the Leo gets suffocated. The Leo thinks the Libra is crazy because Libras have logical emotions and that means that they like to speak out their emotions and they like to pretend like they don't have any emotions, but they do. I don't care what any fucking astrological person says. They use I statements. I believe that you make me feel like a piece of shit. And Leo's like, fuck you. I don't do anything bad. A Libra and a Leo are so ridiculously attractive together. Unless you're one of those rare, ugly Leos or Libras. Whatever. I don't understand. But in Leos and Libras together are a lot of fun. You want to call them for every party. They choose to stay home during a party. They will be the one with their phones blowing up from every single person. Where is that Leo and Libra? If a Leo and a Libra got into a fight, it'd be very hard for them to let anybody know because that would ruin their reputation of being the perfect couple in the world. And a Libra works really hard for it. Leos, they don't work hard at all, but they appreciate the Libra sentiment. <laughs> they would just make sure that they're fucking awesome at all times and that is exhausting. So they have to spend the rest of their time laying on the couch, getting all fucking pissed off. Lazy Leo and lazy Libra today. The Leo's just gonna like say it like it is and be like, I don't fucking care what you have to say. This is what how it's going down. This is what you did. And the Libra is gonna be like, I feel. And on occasion, a Leo and a Libra will never be able to settle that score with each other. One, the Leo's too stubborn and too prideful. And two, the Libra's too prideful because they spend their whole time in the relationship doing everything for the Leo that they feel like, give me this one chance. And then the Leo's like, no, never. I don't give chances. There's that one day that I step down from my pride mobile and drive into your bat cave of awesomeness. I'm always going to be one badass prideful motherfucker with a big full head of hair. I'm fucking Aslan and you are the Libra worshiping me just like everybody else. Yeah, you might be a little bit funnier, Libra. You might make me laugh. But, I mean, fucking everything makes me laugh. Science fiction makes me laugh because I don't understand it. I'm not saying Leos are stupid, but I'm saying that Leos don't give a fuck about much. I mean, a Leo's really going to like a Libra, too, because what's better than being the sun than having the planet of love around them at all times? It's been known to last due to passive aggressiveness and maybe silent treatments and stuff like that but everybody knows a libra can't be silent for too long they'll be like i'm giving you silent treatment why are you gonna be like that i didn't want to do this i just you were supposed to be my boyfriend but you were making out with that other person i forgive you if you love me because you're so attractive libras have been known to stay in very long relationships even though they're not like libras have also been known to beg for love if you're a libra and you're denying it you're fucking lying to yourself or you just happen to be blessed with the perfect relationship right off the bat, which I don't believe any Libra should have. Every Libra needs to go through that. Every Leo needs to know what it's like to have someone grovel for them so they know what it actually takes to break a heart, to actually see it happen. And if the Leo chooses to like it, that Leo is a sociopathic Leo. If that Leo doesn't, that Leo is a fucking 
perfect Leo that we've all fallen in love with for so many years. Leos and Libras make me sick because it's a relationship based upon falsehoods and fakedom. And Leos and Libras can be so fucking shallow that they are okay with that. You just can't believe you have to stand and watch this relationship not fall apart based on the fact that they just want to look good in the public eye. Because you know they have nothing fucking to talk about. They go off in their own little worlds and their own little daydreams and hope to God that they get rich soon and that someone notices them and that someone thinks they're special. I guess that's why the Leo takes the Libra around because the Libra is always going to make the Leos feel special. When that Leo makes that Libra feel special, oh man, we like to call that fireworks. Ah, I got you. <laughs> this is Apollo. This is my white, dirty, miniature schnauzer. Oh, look at you. <laughs> we put out a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't we, Apollo? Apollo, you're making everything move. He makes my camera move. But he's so cute when he does this. Yeah, look how dirty you are. I haven't given you a bath in so long. All right. Please subscribe to my channel. Or don't. But I really will continue to put out astrological videos. And I have fucking a lot more relationship stuff to give out. Whatever. Who the fuck cares? Alright, have a nice day. Bye.